Hi, I'm Scott, and today we're going to fix this lawn on Dad It Yourself. Well, good afternoon. You guys may remember this lawn from my weed control video where my neighbor went around with a non-selective to kill the weeds and killed the lawn as well. So I asked her not to mow this or anything for a couple of weeks. Let it grow out a little, let some of this uh, weed spray and uh, poison dissipate. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to mow this and I'm going to treat all this broadleaf with a selective and I'm going to lay down a weed control with a fertilizer and we're going to overseed and we're going to do all kinds of things to this and this is going to be my project lawn for the next couple of weeks and hopefully we'll be able to turn this thing around before her husband comes home from deployment. So for those of you who follow my channel you know I'm a big supporter of the Ryobi brand. One thing I don't own is one of these 21 inch 40 volt mowers. So I get to take this one out for a test drive and if I want one. Right now I still have a gas mower at home and I'll probably use that until it dies. And something like this will probably be the replacement. But let's see how this thing works. I'm excited about it. Alright, that was a lot of fun actually. I've never used, well, let me say, I've used, I've only used one of those four items from Ryobi that you saw me in the last couple of clips. I'll have links to those in the description if you're interested in doing some research and possibly picking one up for yourself. This lawn already looks better, but it's still got a long way to go. They say just a little mow, you know. So let's uh, go around, I'm going to do a little manual work. See if I can pull up some of the bigger viney type weeds and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, for the next step, I have selective, selective weed control from Roundup and Spectricide. This stuff's really good on the crabgrass this stuff's really good on the broad leaf like the clover and the dandelions. So I'm pretty much going to blanket this whole lawn with this. Okay, so it's actually a couple of days later. Uh, we ended up having some rain, but as you can see, that selective is already starting to have effect on this clover here. And today we're going to take care of these spots. We're going to lay some weed and feed down, and we're probably going to give a second dose of that selective only because it was pretty windy the day I was doing it, and we want to make sure we get a good coating. Let's get on that. So I'm going to go ahead and attack these spots that the homeowner killed off using a non-selective. First I'm going to grab a rake and probably pull up as much dead material as I can to get down to the soil. I'm going to lay down some seed, throw a little soil over it, and then we'll hit it with a fertilizer later and then water it for the next 10 to 14 days.
Okay, so this is how we're going to do this. We're going to sprinkle a little grass like that in these spots. Not too much, not too little. And then I've got some potting mix and some regular topsoil. The potting mix is nice because it's got peat moss in it and that'll help retain the water. And then the topsoil will just provide a little bit of a blanket over these seeds. And then we don't need much. Just a little blanket to cover them up and hold some water in. And that's all I have to do on about 40 spots around this yard. So just as a good measure, I'm going to do a broadcast spread of the seed across the whole lawn. Okay, final step before watering is to lay some fertilizer. So I'm going to be using this yellow bag weed and feed. A lot of people are tempted to use triple action. Triple action must be better, right? Well, this one has a pre-emergent. What does a pre-emergent do? Pre-emergent stops seeds from germinating. Well, what we don't want to do here is stop seeds from germinating. We just laid a whole bunch of grass seed down. So if you use a pre-emergent and you're thinking about overseeding, you have to wait between two to four weeks for that pre-emergent to leach out of the soil before you put seed down. Just remember that. So in the meantime, we'll use the yellow bag weed and feed and then maybe midsummer we use the triple action and then come fall when we do our overseed for the fall we'll go back to the yellow feed again all right here we go well that's all i have to do now so in 10 to 14 days we should have new grass growing and dead weeds and in like good Pacific Northwest fashion, it's going to rain tomorrow. So it'll get to water all this in nice. And then on those days it doesn't rain, we'll water this for at least 10 minutes a day just to make sure it stays nice and wet and soaked in. All right, see you in 14 days. Hey, so here we are at the project lawn. It has been four weeks, not two like anticipated. I just mowed this today. And as you can see, almost all of the broadleaf is gone. I've got a couple of little spots right along here and then a couple over there and I'll just treat those. And then as you can see, all the dry spots are almost completely gone where the homeowner had used her non-selective. From this angle, it's kind of good. The sun gives you an idea. So those were the spots where the weed killer had been used on the lawn and they're low because the grass is still growing. Um, we are in the third week in June now, uh, and the temperatures are just in the mid 60s. We haven't even hit 70 yet. That may be for the 4th of July around here. So I still have time to actually add a little more seed and a little more soil and kind of keep working these spots. But I'll tell you, after four weeks, this is a completely different lawn. In two weeks, I'll come down and I will do another fertilizer treatment to get us through the summer. And then we will move into the fall treatment in late August, early September. We'll put a pre-emergent down and then we'll go into winter dormancy and this thing will be ready to go next spring. But look at this, four weeks and it is almost a completely different transformed lawn. So there you have it, four weeks and a nice little lawn program for your cool season lawn to help you get control over the weeds and bring back a nice green lawn. All the answers probably weren't here, but for most of you who have cool season lawns, this will probably get you started in the right direction. Having a lawn takes a little bit of work and maintenance, and you can succeed. If you have any questions or suggestions, put those down below in the comments. Speaking of comments, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you've subscribed, hit the bell for notification. I've got some videos over here you may be interested in. Subscribe button's right over here. Thanks for watching. Doubt it yourself.